So we're going to start our symmetrical still lifes today. And remember, a still life is a group of objects. You're going to get a piece of paper and five popsicle sticks. Some of them might have names on the back, but that's okay, you can just turn it over. And we're going to make them symmetrical, which remember means the same on both sides. So I'm gonna start, I can move my paper out of the way. I'm gonna start by, with a pencil, drawing a line that is kind of halfway. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you're trying to get your line halfway. If you want, here's a little trick, once you have it once, you can line up your popsicle sticks so that they're the same and just draw it so that you don't have to keep guessing every time. So I'm gonna do this for all of my popsicle sticks. Remember, I'm gonna turn that one over because it has a name on it. And so this is basically half. If it's going to be the same on both sides, I need whatever I draw on this side to also be the same on this side. So I'm going to, let's see if I can zoom in. There we go. I'm going to draw really carefully because I'm not trying to draw fast. I'm trying to draw a really cool pattern or something that repeats. And I want each of my popsicle sticks to be different. So this time I'm drawing, what shape is this? Right, triangles. Now I know that I want it to be the exact same as this on this side. So I'm going to draw more triangles all the way across. It might not be exactly perfect, but you can see I have, it almost looks like a bunch of mountains. Then let's say I wanna add lots of details to it. Maybe I color in the opposite side with pink. So the top triangles, maybe I make them pink. If you need more markers because yours are running out, maybe ask another table if you can borrow theirs or ask your teacher to look through the box of markers and find you another one. So here you can kind of see that I have a symmetrical design. Mine also happens to be symmetrical if I turn it this way too, but yours doesn't have to be. Ooh, let's see, I think I wanna add some polka dots. If I have polka dots on this side, I need to add polka dots on this side as well. So I'm going to work really hard to make shapes and different types of lines to really decorate my popsicle sticks. I have five of them, so I'm going to do this on five different popsicle sticks. Then I need to make sure to write my name on the back of all five of my popsicle sticks just in case they get lost. So you're writing your name on how many sticks? Five, good job. If you don't finish decorating all of your five sticks today, that is okay. We'll have more time next time. All right. If I have time, I'm going to glue them onto my paper. I'm making the table of my still life. Remember in our example how we have a table, then a vase and some flowers that are symmetrical. I'm gonna choose, pretend like mine are all decorated, right? I'm going to choose the order I want them in and then glue them at the bottom of my paper. Remember that a little bit of glue goes a long way. I'm going to use some Elmer's glue, or some glue sticks, I mean, and push them down. I'm gonna glue my other ones on and then I'll show you another trick. Okay, so I put glue on all of the back of all of my sticks. Now I'm gonna turn my paper over and rub the paper. You can see that you can kind of see my sticks through it. I'm gonna rub the paper. That's going to make sure that my sticks stick really well to my paper. Remember, say it with me, write my name on my sticks. Good job, because in case some of your sticks fall off, we'll know whose is whose. All right, if you make it this far and all of your sticks are decorated and glued on, you can spend more time working on your coloring page.
I'm excited to see the tables with your symmetrical popsicle sticks. One last thing, don't forget to write your name on the back of your paper. What are you writing? Good, your name on the back of your paper so that we know whose is whose next time.